Hi, my name is Lee. I am an interior designer and 3D artist and welcome to the first episode of Creating Realistic Clothes in 3D Max and Marvelous Designer series. In this video, we will create a harem pants in Marvelous Designer. Harem pants is a fundamental piece in any oriental 3D character. As you can see in these reference images I downloaded from the internet for concept oriental 3D characters, harem pants is a common piece in all of them. So let's get started. Now we are in Marvelous Designer. Let's import our avatar. I will import my avatar in the default setting, but it's the right setting for me right now. Uh, this avatar is not the default avatar provided by Marvelous Designer. Uh, I created this avatar in Character Creator 4. It is a character that will be animated uh, later in a cinematic I'm working on. Uh, and uh, these clauses I'm creating uh, in this uh, series uh, is the clauses of this character. So I have uh, to be aware that the clauses I'm creating here will be animated later and will be close simulated in 3ds Max. Then, so let's get started by creating a rectangular pattern. We will import the cutting pattern. We will import the cutting pattern of the harem pants uh, here in Marvel Designer. By default, the rectangular pattern will be assigned to Fabric 1. Choose Fabric 1 and assign the texture, which will be the cutting pattern of the harem pants. And from Edit Texture, we'll start adjusting the scale of the texture and the position of the texture. And here we are, and now we'll start tracing these lines using the polygon option. As you can see, like this, creating vertex, they include these vertex to form a polygon. By default, it is assigned to fabric one, but we want a new fabric, then so create new fabric, fabric two, and Select the new pattern and assign fabric to it. Then let's go to edit the pattern. We need a curve here. Curve. Then make a curve and go to edit pattern to adjust the curvature here to follow the lines of the cutting pattern. We need to, to select this edge. edge and move it up here it is i think this side is done then repeat the same process again choose polygon create polygon like this like this and by the way marvel's designer has a great snapping mechanism which make your life very easy in creating patterns okay let's go to pattern edit pattern let's make a curvature here and i think there is a curvature here too let's see here it is go to edit pattern to adjust this curvature You don't have to be very precise, but just follow the lines. I think this curvature needs to be adjusted like this. Okay. And I don't like this one too. Okay. Now let's let let's create the waist pellet. Go to create rectangular pattern like this and another rectangular pattern for the leg cuff like this now select the created pattern for the left for the left leg of the harem pants and move it to our avatar right here i think it will be the right scale for my avatar because i want to make it between the 
the knees and the toes. But I think I will increase the scale a little bit like this. Okay, I think this is better. Okay. This part is the front of the left leg. It's the part here. And this part is the back of the left leg, which will be the part here. Now let's create the right parts. We will make symmetrical pattern with sewing, which will ease out our life later. Symmetrical pattern with sewing. And symmetrical pattern with sewing for the leg cuff, the right leg cuff. Now we'll start placing these parts on the avatar first i will change the color of the avatar to be something close to the human skin color i think uh, this is good then we'll go to arrangement point and show the arrangement point on the avatar and start placing the pattern parts using the arrangement point Are the front part and since we are uh, enabling the symmetrical pattern by default assigning one will assign the next one assigning the left part will assign the right part then after placing them we need to adjust um, I will place uh, the billet the west billet and the Leave, leave the cards for later. I need to adjust to the place of these parts so it won't make a problem. Let's close the uh, arrangement point. And I need to adjust just a little bit this the position of these parts so it won't make problems during the simulation process. This part and this part. Them a little bit like this so not to a uh, not to make problem during the simulation process I think that's good now let's place the cuffs using the arrangement point and here we are now all the parts are assigned to their places on the avatar using arrangement point. Now we are going to the sewing process. These two parts will be connected together, therefore we'll start by sewing them together. We can you can as you can see from the 3D view, I can sew them uh, here in the 3D view like this. And due to uh, the enable, we enabled the symmetrical pattern with sewing. Uh, the same thing happened to the parts in the right leg. Or we, you can sew them here. As you see, it's done. And this part will be sewed with this part. Here we are. And this part with this part. Now we need to so uh, so this the uh, the west belt with this four parts we have two approaches but i would use them we have to approach it but i like to use this one uh, this one i i go to edit uh, uh, polygon uh, pattern mode and i uh, select this these two edges and then sorry, right click and offset as internal line along curve i will create four equal i will divide this pattern to four equal parts by using this feature and i will connect each part of these parts with the four parts of the of the 
uh, of the of the legs. Now I will create verses here and here and here. Let's see. All the, uh, you can do it. It will be easier if you do it on the three D view like this and like this and like this. Let's do it. Let's do this here and like this. Okay. And don't forget to close the bird by saving these two parts. Okay. Now we need to uh, seal the cuffs with the legs part. And I will use the second approaches, which is using the segment sealing. First, let's move this to see what are we doing. Okay, choose segment sewing. It choose the edge that you want to uh, sew it to. We need to sew it with these two parts, or two or those two edges. Uh, after selecting this edge, press Enter. Select the second and the third, and press Enter. Now it's done. The same thing will happen to the right side since we are uh, enabling the symmetrical pattern with the wing. Uh, don't forget to close the cuffling by sewing it the, these two edges together. Now I think everything is ready for the simulation. I just need to freeze the or, or I can delete it or freeze it. So it won't fool while the simulation. Then hit the simulation button. Hmm. Here we are. Perfect. I think. And this is how you create Hurrying paints using a cutting pattern and import the cutting pattern to Marvelous Designer and trace the pattern from the cutting pattern. Then assign uh, the pattern parts to the avatar using arrangement points and uh, then the sewing process, then the simulation process. And here we have our hurrying paints. We can stop the simulation and choose all the pattern parts and increase the particle distance which is relevant uh, or equivalent to the subdivision. If you lower them, for example, to 10, by this way, we increase the number of subdivision in the which will make the result more smoother. And we hit simulation again, as you can see, the fabric become more smooth and the result become more smooth because we increase uh, uh, the subdivision of the of the pattern. So, if you like our video, please like and subscribe and wait for the next one, uh, we, which we will uh, retopologize, retopologize, retopology, this uh, paint and uh, adjust uh, its UVs and check its UV and texturing in 3ds Max. So, stay tuned and. Be safe. Bye-bye.